guys, this is Amalia with Crafty Dream Studios. Thank you for joining me today. If you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit the little bell notification icon so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Also, if you're on Facebook, you can follow me there on my page at Crafty Dream Studio where I will be going live. So you can come and check me out doing uh, live projects. And of course, if you like any of the products that I use today, then you can go to my website to place an order. Now, all of this information is linked in the description box below. So it is there if you need it. Now let's go ahead and get started. Today I have a super fun project and I think you guys are gonna really like it. And it is using the Let's Get Wicked transfer. So let's open this up. This is a brand new transfer, which you can purchase if you'd like. And take a look at all those awesome images that you can use. You get 12 images to use. Now I'm going to be using the Hocus Pocus for today's project. I just love that. And I'm gonna be using our transfer trimmers to trim this up. I just love the length because you can get one awesome cut. Perfect. And you have all of these to use as well, but we're gonna work with this one today. Now, what are we gonna do? We are going to be making goodie bags. That's right. So I have my goodie bag here and I have my uh, inking mat on the bottom. The reason you want an inking mat is because you don't want the ink from the front to transfer to the back and then you'll have a um, kind of a messed up back. So you only want the design in the front and I'm gonna be pressing down so that I have good contact. Okay, now this is a brand new transfer as I said, but because it's fabric, I'm not gonna fuzz it up, okay? The fabric will take care of that for me. So all you need to do is make sure to write Hocus Pocus or write back so you know what side to return your transfer to when you're done. So I'm just going to line this up, kind of center it up where I want it. Let's see. Uh, I, I actually like it right there. So I'm gonna press down, making sure I don't have any air or bubbles whatsoever, especially since I'm using fabric and our ink, okay? Now, if I have a corner up like this, that's not gonna matter because I don't have any inking area right there, all right? So there we go, making sure it's nice and flat. Now, the ink I'm gonna be using is our Couture or Charcology ink, and this one is Regal. Look at that gorgeous purple, I just love it. Okay, now I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna be really careful because our Charcology ink is permanent. So if I get it somewhere I don't want it, then I can mess up my project. All right, let me, making sure that was straight. All right, now I'm gonna take my little stir stick and I'm gonna stir, stir, stir. Look at that consistency, it is beautiful. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I like to take a little bit of the ink and then I'm gonna start at the top and I'm just gonna go down, straight down. Get a little bit more. I like to do light um, passes first. We wanna give time for the ink to absorb into the fabric. And I'm gonna turn it and go up to cover the area I have not covered. Now, if you notice, I'm being really careful to stay away from the corners or the edges because I don't wanna accidentally get some off my transfer. Now you can use our transfer tape to tape it down so that you give yourself a little bit more room uh, so that you don't go off transfer. So I'm going to go over it one more time. And this time I'm going to be pressing a little harder, making sure I get it 
pressed into the fabric. And it is this easy to do inking projects. And this is a great thing to do for um, classroom, or if you're gonna have a Halloween party, make little treat bags for everybody, or for teachers. This would be a great, great little gift for that. Now I'm going to clean off my squeegee. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here at the bottom and I'm going to lift up and I'm gonna check, make sure I got all the areas. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute that is. Oh, I love it. Now I do have a container of water over here to the side where I'm gonna place my transfer until I'm ready to clean it. But get a load of that. Isn't that adorable? Oops, let me get this out of the way before I fumble it. <laughs> All right, oh, take a look at that. Hocus Pocus, it's absolutely beautiful. Now what I do is I let this dry for 24 hours and then I'll heat set it. You do have to heat set our ink, which just means you can take an iron or if you have an easy press and, um, you know, if, it's, if you're using an iron, you're going to do four minutes on this side and then four minutes on the back. If you're using an easy press, then you need to just follow the directions for the easy press. Now, oh, and the iron, make sure to not have the steam on. You want a dry iron, no steam whatsoever. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day or night, wherever you are.